Thailand can expect to feel the economic effects of COVID-19 for at least another nine months, according to the Prime Minister, who yesterday went on to say that anyone who expects a recovery in three to six months wasn't being realistic and that Thailand now needs a plan to deal with that. The government has launched a 1.97 trillion baht relief package, with half of that being used for handouts to those unemployed, whilst 500 million baht is earmarked for the central bank's soft loan scheme for small and medium enterprises. Whilst the count announced yesterday was just one new case, and that was on the Malaysian border, and of the total count of registered cases in the country to date of 2,988, an amazing 2,747 people have been discharged, it's certainly not time to become complacent. Economically, the total lack of tourism has brought the year's expectations to its knees. And as restrictions are slowly lifted, so the reminder remains that if people do not adhere to the rules or the count rises, those restrictions can quickly be put back into effect. Meanwhile, the Office of Basic Education Commission has announced that all schools can decide individually if they wish to reopen on July the 1st. Their choice, but it must meet with provincial approval, as many regions have harsher controls still in place. For others, state schools included, the option of online learning remains a choice too. Meanwhile, at home and in Pattaya, as the ring fencing of the city disappeared, allowing free access to the city for all, it's expected that City Hall will lift some other restrictions soon, and that perhaps by the end of the week, beach road footpaths will be open for walking and jogging, but the beaches will remain closed. If malls are allowed to open toward the end of the month, then ideas being mooted nationally and here in Pattaya include the idea of a two-hour maximum visit and the number of shoppers limited by count, in a similar way to European countries with the one-in-one-out system. The fabulous 103 food supply programme, which keeps many food lines in supplies around the region, has seen tens of truckloads of food leave the studio again this week. Stocks are still available to assist those cooking for food lines too. And if you need supplies, just visit our website, fabulous103.com, and drop us a line or call us on 0800 724 609. Currently, we have rice, eggs, water and baby milk available, but funds are running low. This is we once again ask anyone who's kind enough to want to help the thousands of people queuing at various points around the city for food to once again help us by donating. And to do that, visit gogetfunding.com and search for Fabulous 103. That's gogetfunding.com. And with the reminder, mitts, masks and meters, wash your hands, wear a mask and keep social distancing. And the Met Office promising highs today of 34, dropping down to 28 and a humid day. That is the local and national news from Fab FM. For videos and of course to keep up with Fabulous Patia, visit alwayspatia.com.